And we are back. Over the last 10 years, the Bronx Documentary Center's education program has provided hundreds of middle school as well as high school students from the South Bronx the opportunity to have free documentary photography as well as multimedia classes. Now, armed with considerable talent and developing skills, BDC students are telling community stories accurately and creatively, building intimate portraits of the borough that so many people call home. And joining me now is Bronx Documentary Center's creative director, Mike Camber. Then we've got alumni, Alexa Pacheco, and then student, Brandon Carrillo Leon. And we thank you so much for being with us all, and uh, good to have you. Thank you. Thanks. Well, let me start off a little bit about this. Uh, and I'll, I, I think I got three people talking. To, well, can I hear? I'm trying to, I got a little feedback. I got it. I think we're clear now. But uh, let me start off, Mike, with you and talk a little bit about this. Because uh, when we talk about the Bronx Documentary Center, the opportunity to really uh, impact community and then also students. Yeah, we started our program 10 years ago with just, I think we had five or six kids. Uh, now we're up to almost 100 kids a year. Uh, we've had over 500 kids come through the program. And they're out on the streets uh, interviewing and photographing people. They're doing a student newspaper. Uh, we've got the book of their work that we just published. And, um, you know, we've got a college success program. So 100% of our students are going to college every year. Uh, so, you know, there's just so much talent here in the borough. And, uh, you know, we just we get them the resources and training they need. And uh, Brandon, talk to me a little about what you do uh, for yourself, the opportunity to do a little with photography, journalism. Uh, give me some of uh, what goes on. Um, basically, what goes on is we attend classes every Monday, Wednesday or Tuesday and Thursday. And we we go out and talk to the community and practice our skills with the camera, with um, interviewing people and stuff like that, and just get closer with the community and hear people's stories and document it. Yeah. So when you first approached this program and said, I want to be a part of it, uh, what were your expectations, Brandon? Um, when I approached the program, I was like very like, I, I wanted to just test, test it out and see how it was. And I just wanted to get photography as a hobby, and but after I joined, I like I couldn't leave. Like I, I was like so, I was I just love the community, the Bronx Community Center, everybody there, everybody's so welcoming, nice. It's like a family. Yeah, Alexa is an alumna, and uh, as you talk about your experience, uh, what did you actually gain? Uh, having the experience of going through the program and now being on the other side? Well, actually, I'm not an alumni yet. It's my last year at the Bronx Documentary Center, but I am applying to colleges. So I feel like everything that I've learned at the Bronx Documentary Center is helping me apply to colleges and add to my activities list. And my college essay is actually about the Bronx Documentary Center and an experience that I had in my software. And to have the opportunity to have your work being recognized, I'll come back to Mike in just a second, but uh, either one of you could jump in there and talk about what does it mean for you to be able to have your work recognized and to be seen out there uh, for the public to say, hey, this is that. Um, I don't know if you want to take this one, Brandon, but. <laughs> um, no, you, 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 you. Thank you, thank you. Um, to make it short, um, I know I feel like it's such an honor to have my work um, recognized at such a young age, especially for example, and when I was 14, I was um, I was featured in a um, article that we did for the New York Times, and to be published at such a young age, I feel like that's really made a big impact on me, and it made me want to pursue not only photography as a hobby but as a career. Brandon. Um, it's made me like, um, I didn't know that we would be recognized. Like I was, I think 13 when I was recognized, I think it was at the Met and from so on, I've been interviewed by other news stations like, um, Univision and stuff and being so young and getting this recognition is like, it's like a feeling of accomplishment and something I wouldn't want as just a hobby in maybe my, my life. Yeah. 
And Mike, the opportunity for these students to have their work disseminated, passed out so many can see it, um, obviously it's a bonus for the program, but talk to me about how you've been able to take the program and take it not just from uh, a local perspective of teaching, but really using it to educate the masses about the skills and the talents of these wonderful young people. Yeah, we really, we really work on getting the students' work out there. You know, we, we get it out around the neighborhood, uh, but we've also shown their work internationally. They've had exhibitions in Paris, France. Um, a number of our students have uh, traveled to Japan for a big photo festival where they've been able to share, the, share their work. Uh, they've traveled to Norway. So uh, we're working on a, uh, a relationship now with a, a group in Mexico uh, down in Oaxaca. So, you know, we, we really spend a lot of time getting their work out there, getting it published. Again, they've been published in the New York Times. They've been published uh, in The Guardian in London, you know. So, so um, you know, they've got great points of view. Um, it's it's amazing to see how intimate the work is when students are out photographing their own communities, their own families, their neighbors, and uh, the work the work is powerful. And people around the world have seen this work, so it, it makes a difference. And for students, Mike, that have the opportunity to really take their work to the next level, we know that some really were just checking the program out, and it's turned out to be more than they expected. And I think Brandon's talked about that. Alexis kind of led, led, uh, led a little into that. What do you yeah. think for you would be that secret sauce that really uh, impacts these students in the way that it does? Well, you know, I think, I think there's a, a, a legacy of, of photojournalism and documentary photography in this country that's just extraordinary. That was key in the civil rights movement. It was been key in a key part of the environmental movement. Uh, you know, of, of so many different social justice movements. And that's really what these students are learning. They're learning that photography can make a difference. It can inform, um, you know, just the basic tenets of journalism are so powerful. Uh, and also we, we focus a lot on writing skills, you know, and that's something our students, research skills, computer skills. So these are all things that they need that service them in all kinds of ways in their lives. Yeah. Alexa, Brandon, I'll start with ladies first. Uh, how do you see using the skills that you have now and that you gained through this program in the future? Well, I'm actually going to pursue photography now in the future. I, um, for like the longest time, I didn't know. I knew that I wanted to do art, but I didn't know exactly what I wanted to do. And finding the Bronx Documentary Center has just led me down a path that I just know that I'll hold on to forever, and I'm just so grateful to the Bronx Community Center. I feel like I should add that in there, but I'm. I think in the future I'll be able to utilize what I've learned and kind of create new things. I guess <laughs> to kind of sum it up. But I know for the fa for a fact that in the future I'm going to use everything that I learned at the Bronx Community Center. Hopefully, <laughs> Brandon. Um, yeah, the, I've learned so many new skills from the Bronx Documentary Center. It's like, um, I would learn how to work a camera, which I thought was like super difficult until, until like the first day I attended. It's like super easy. It's just when you learn, learn the words and they teach you hands on. It's, it's amazing. And I've learned many computer skills with Photoshop and photo mechanic, which I, I also thought was very confusing before I learned those. And so if a young person's out there right now, Mike, and say, listen, this is something that I think about uh, and I want to get into, what do, I, what do they do? Oh, please, please contact us. Uh, we're at bronxdoc.org is the website, B-R-O-N-X-D-O-C dot uh, org, bronxdoc.org. And, um, or they can email us. It's uh, education at bronxdoc.org. And um, we're getting ready for our, you know, we're already making preparations for our spring and summer programs. So. Um, you know, we're, we're always looking for new students, and uh, there's a lot of opportunities here. We've got students from all over the Bronx. A lot of our students walk, walk to the program every day, but we also have students from, you know, North Bronx, East Bronx, West Bronx. So, um, you know, we, we, we'd love to talk to you if you're interested, if you have a passion or just a curiosity about photography, we can get you started. And when is the next, uh, when's the next chance for students to participate? Uh, well, we've got, you know, we've got our, our student exhibition, so you can come and check that out if you're a, a teenager or any, any resident, any age of the Bronx. That exhibition will be up through March 3rd, so um, that's a great chance to meet teachers uh, and meet other students here. 
and um, we've got a bunch of workshops coming up. So there's there's kind of like a rolling uh, a, a rolling uh, list of events and educational opportunities. Yeah. Well, Mike, keep up the great work in impacting the lives of young people. I think they, you see the fruit that's fallen from the tree. It really looks very good. Uh, Alexa, Brandon, thank you so much for being with us. Thank you. Thank you for having us. All righty. It's a pleasure. Thank you. Our pleasure here. Listen, now, if you want more information, we encourage you. Visit the website, bronxdoc.org. Bronxdoc.org. There you can find out and get your young person uh, enrolled. And if you're a young person, take your skills to the next level.